Okay, hello everybody. So in this video, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna explain some basic technique for the front ensemble or the pit players in the drumline class. So if you're playing marimba, if you're playing vibraphone, or if you're playing xylophone, okay, these are just some tips um, that you wanna pick up on when you're playing any of these instruments. So I'm gonna use this marimba in front of me here just to demonstrate. Um, first of all, in regards to grip, um, it's pretty much the same match grip that you would use with drumsticks. Just you're going to have your mallets, right? So your fulcrum is going to be in the same spot as in the match grip video. You're still going to have your wrist nice and relaxed with the back of your hands, the whole thing, fingers wrapped around the stick. The only thing is that you want like almost like a 60-40 ratio um, with your mallet. With the drumstick, it was like 70-30. You want more mallet in your hand than with the drumstick. So 60-40 for the mallet, okay? When you're playing these instruments, it's important to make sure that you don't have any watches on. You don't have any belt buckles around the bars or anything like that. Because if you bump into them, they will scratch the instruments. And they'll actually damage the instruments. Okay, you don't want to do that. Um, when you're standing behind these instruments here. You want to stand relatively in the middle to where you're comfortable, where you can reach most of the instrument from one spot. On a marimba, you're going to have to lean and shift your weight either way, maybe even take a step or two. That's fine. But you want to stand more or less in the middle of the instrument. And your feet, you know, shoulder width apart, nice and comfortable, okay? You also don't want to stand too close, because then you get really tight, or too far away, because then you're not able to reach sort of the upper register of the keyboard. So you want to stand at a comfortable distance to where you can play the lower levels and the upper levels as comfortable as possible, okay? When striking these instruments, if you notice, there's a row of tubes, resonator tubes, that go down the middle of each level. When you're striking the bar, you want to strike the bar in the middle, right on top of the resonator to get the best possible sound. And that goes for any key. Okay? If you don't strike it right on top of the resonator, the sound will change. Watch. You get like no sound there. That's on top of the strings, or what they call the, the nodes or the nodules. You don't want to play on top of the strings. You want to play in the middle. Now, the same four strokes that we learned about, the fold, down, the tap, and the up, apply to these instruments as well. Most of the exercises we're going to demonstrate right away, though, we're going to play all with four strokes, okay? So we'll look at that after. So a couple tips, like I went, we can just recap. Talked about the grip is more or less the same. We're still seeing the backs of our hands. We've got our mallets nice and flat. Um, we want to play over the resonators. We want to not stand too far, or too close to the instrument. Make sure you're not wearing any chains or belt buckles or watches or anything that are going to scratch the bars. Okay? Um, that's it for this video, guys. Good luck.